Thank you, Sean. Uh, I appreciate it. So today we're going to be chatting about RAs and tax-free savings account. Um, we're coming to that time of the year where there's budget speeches and states of the nation addresses, but it's also the end of the tax year. And every year this presents immense opportunities to investors. And a part of what I'm going to do today is highlight those opportunities um, within two products, a tax-free savings account and a retirement annuity, and the benefits these offer to you at this time of the year. Okay, so we're gonna start off by a quote with Susie Orsman is a bit of a financial guru. I think she's been on Oprah a bit, if I understand correctly, but what she's essentially trying to say here is that money within the first few years um, that you won't need for, you need to essentially put into longer terms into retirement savings and use it to save for a goal. The longer the term, the more equity exposed you should be. And, um, she comes with the title of personal financial guru. Obviously, we um, interpret what's being said to us, and I tend to agree quite strongly with what she's saying. So what is the current position? In South Africans, the savings ratio has decreased throughout the years, and currently um, only 6% of South Africans can afford to retire. This is quite concerning. Um, the one thing that we are assured of is the march of time. And... I know you feel it as well. I can remember wishing people Happy New Year, and now we're already in Feb. So we're going to get closer to this retirement, um, our retirements. We need to start saving, and we need to do so smartly and with our benefit. Remember, in the principle is, yes, we need to save, but we need to also do so in a tax-efficient manner. Okay, so we know that medical cover, transport costs, electricity, when we have it, home and car loans are just increasing. Medical, medical aid is increasing by more than inflation. Inflation is currently, let's say, 6.5%. We estimate medical inflation at closer to 10%. So your money is worth less yearly because of inflation, and your the medical inflation rate, which means the cost of the cover, is increasing in excess of inflation. Um, this should be a bit of a shock to the system, but um, at the same time, there's opportunities for us in terms of saving, but with a lot of us, we need to be nudged, and this is the nudge. Also, um, what's your current position? So when you think about your age, your experience, your network, your capital and investment being considered, you need to take these things into consideration when looking at your portfolio as a whole, but also the opportunities that these present with a tax-free investment plan and a retirement annuity. The length of time you're going to be in the market and the type of underlying investments you choose are critical. Remember, we come back to what um, Ms. Orman said or Susie Orman said, the longer you expose, the more you, uh, the longer you're saving for the longer term or the further away the goal, the more you should be exposed to equity. Um, a measure of how an investment returns is left over after taxes are paid. What does this mean to us? So every month we get paid a salary and part of that salary is paid off to SARS. Likewise with our investments. When we're invested in certain products, we're still liable for tax on interest, dividends, and capital gains. With the tax-free investment plan and retirement annuity, the key idea that we need to get across is that these products are two of the most tax-efficient products in the market and that you don't pay taxes on any growth, any interest, or any dividends earned. Because you put that money back in your pocket, it allows you to have access to long, a larger amount of growth at the end of the term. Put it practically, I'm earning a salary. A portion of that is paid over to SARS. Imagine next month, I don't have to pay SARS. You're getting more bang for your buck. So if you're earning 50,000 Rand or 20,000 Rand a month and you're paying hypothetically 10,000 Rand to SARS and you're only getting 40 in your bank account, imagine getting 50 and what you could do with that extra 10. It um, really leaves you mouth. Uh, it leaves you uh, leaves your mouth. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Leaves your mouth watering. Okay, so what is the ideal position? This is where we want to be. This is where we picture ourselves at retirement, obviously on a beach, playing golf, watching the sunset, and with our spouse. Um, please, guys. I know people tend to, as they retire, they tend to trade in cars and other things for a newer model um, that doesn't apply to uh, spouses at all. <laughs> so how do we get there? Here's the crux. So Treasury and the government, especially Treasury, though, they've seen the need. They've seen the savings gap. They've seen how it affects the macroeconomy and the um, essentially the debt structures in this country. 
in terms of um, savings ratios. And they've come across two years ago with this tax-free investment plan, but it's also incentivized what we can get back when we contribute to RA. So this one slide covers the benefits, and both of these have a place in your portfolio. It's not one or the other, it's both. So a tax-free investment plan gives you tax-free growth on interest, dividends, and capital gains, and it's the same with retirement annuity. However, with a tax-free investment plan, you use after-tax money to invest, but you pay no tax later, meaning when you draw, your funds are paid out to you tax-free. You're limited to 30,000 Rand per year, and it's capped at 500,000 Rand over your lifetime. With an RA, you can contribute up to 27.5% of the highest of taxable income or remuneration, and that's across all retirement funds, and it's capped at 350,000 Rand per year. But did you know, that in you contribute in excess, so above 350,000 and or above your cap of 27.5%, that amount can be um, essentially rolled over to the next year and deducted in the following year. SARS also provides further benefits and they said if you haven't used these previously non-deductible contributions, you can actually offset it against a lump sum that you take at retirement or you can offset it against annuity income. So those are just two things to keep in mind. Um, the principle is always contribute as much as you can, not as much as you can afford, but as much as you can to retirement savings. It's the most important things we tell all of our clients. For tax-free investment plans, they're versatile. They, you can use them for an emergency fund for holidays or for your children's education. One of our clients recently called in and said, you know what, we've got a one-year-old and we realize what the cost of education is going to be, we'd like to take out a tax-free investment plan. I said, yes, great. So the mom took out one in her name and started saving. But the beauty is that she can also take out one in the name of your child. So she took out one in the name of her child and started contributing, not just in her own name, but in the name of her, that child for that child's education, university education in the future. And for me, that's, uh, that's the reason why I'm in this industry. It's because we can allow clients to achieve their goals. Um, with retirement funds, lump sums are taxed at preferential rates. Um, I'll show you the table slightly later on. And the remaining capital can provide you with an income. Um, retirement is a massive part of our life. It's a third of our lives. We, so if you're retired 55, we anticipate you're going to live for another 30 years. And you're going to need to fund that. The bulk of your medical expenses are going to be incurred in the last two years before a person passes away. So you imagine how important your savings in the first 55 years of your life become for the next 30. Keep it in mind. You've got a wide range of investment options in both. This is the crux, and this is why both have a part in your portfolio. Tax-free investment plans is best for long-term savings, and a retirement duty is best for retirement savings. So one stream for retirement, another stream for your holidays you want to take when you're in retirement or 10, 15 years down the line, an emergency fund. Remember, markets are uncertain. You should save at least six months salary. This is the perfect place to do so because you're saving it tax-free and also for your children's education. Okay, so who's an RA most suitable for? It's suitable for everyone. Everyone should have one. Um, it's most suitable for individuals because only individuals can use it. Um, Everyone should have one. Everyone should supplement their retirement savings. However, if you need, you're not going to be able to access the money before the age of 55. That's very important. So you sacrifice liquidity while you're in the build-up phase in terms of saving. And it can't be used by an organization or trust. One of the beautiful things one of our clients did as well was take out an RA. A grandfather took out an RA for his granddaughter when she was born. So he had 10,000 rand. Instead of giving 10,000 rands in cash to um, the child or to the parent, he put it in an RA. That's now going to grow tax-free for the next 55 years. And she can also, when the, as the child goes or as the grandfather has cash available, put monies in. And you can just imagine the gift that's going to be there for her when she reaches the age of 55, potentially. Okay, when we talked about preferential rates, this is what it means on lump sum. So when you retire, let's focus on the right-hand column. The first 500,000 Rand of any lump sum that you take at retirement, remember you're limited currently to one-third of the capital. So if you've got one and a half million, you're entitled to take 500,000 Rand, which is one-third as a lump sum. And the first 500,000 will be taxed at 0%. 
up and the sliding scale is on the right. So anything above a million and fifty thousand will be taxed at thirty six percent. So this is excellent because essentially you're taxed at the retirement lump sum tables and it doesn't affect your marginal rate of tax. Any lump sum you receive, you receive net of tax. Um, so important, you know, um, a lot of people talk about immigration, a lot about, and unfortunate things do happen um, to people, to us. Um, so if you decide to immigrate, you can take your um, RA, so you can cash it in, provide a sub to prove immigration, you can cash it in, it'll be taxed at the withdrawal lump sum tables. If you have less than 7,000 Rand in your um as a, as a fund value, you can take everything in tax, take everything in cash, also tax at the withdrawal lump sum tables. Or if you, for example, fall um, severely ill or you become disabled, then you're entitled to retire early from the RA. So hypothetically, you're 50 years old, um, get can no longer work because of an injury or illness. You can access these retirement funds and you'll be entitled to retire from it uh, with the consent of the trustees of the fund. So what will this do for you, this fantastic product? It will grow your retirement savings, your contributions that you make are tax deductible. So again, you put more money in your pocket because you pay less tax because the contributions that you make can be offset against or can be deducted from your taxable income, for example. The membership's independent of your employer. People with millennials and with people in general these days generally stay at a job to three to four to five years then leave. What happens when they leave, they take their provident fund or pension fund in cash, cash it out, and they get a nice fat bonus or amount in their pocket, and they spend it. With RAs, you protect yourself from yourself. So what happens in that instance is that because it's not employer-linked, it's there, it's protected, and you know you're going to have money on hand when you retire. There's always a temptation when you leave your job to take your pension or provident fund that you've accrued over the years. And unfortunately, human behavior is such that sometimes we need to be protected from ourselves. And the RA is a perfect opportunity to do so. And no tax is payable when you're trans transferring, so it allows for more growth on your investment. What that means is if you've got a pension or provident fund, when you leave, you can actually transfer those amounts into your RA. Now you're, having a, you're adding to the bowl, and as Warren Buffett said, um, compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe, you're going to have a larger pot growing at a larger amount, adding to itself at a faster rate over the years. So essentially that snowball, as you increase its size, is going to latch on more snow and just become bigger and bigger and bigger. So the more you put in, the better it is for you. Considerations from a PSG perspective, quite flexible, um, initial lump sum of 20,000 or 500 Rand per month or 1,500 Rand a quarter or 3,000 Rand half yearly, and you can combine debit all those lump sums. Our direct servicing offering, as you know, that Sean is a massive part of, um, can assist you with these sort of things, and you can chat to them about how to structure your, your lump sums. You've got a wide range of funds. You've got access to expert support and reduced fees if you use PSG funds. Same principle. The less you pay, the more you give back to yourself. So if you use a PSG fund on the PSG platform, you pay 0.2% of flat rate, as opposed to using other funds where it's a sliding scale, where it's 0.5% on the first million and a half. I encourage you to take advantage of this. It's a wise move. Imagine giving yourself 0.3% back. Essentially, you're giving yourself added return or added alpha by paying less. So practically, if you're earning, say, 10% on 10 return, uh, less of fees, that's 9.5. However, if you use a reduced rate, then you're actually coming out with 9.8. It's just a practical example of how fees can add to your growth and even increase that snowball effect. So I've done a bit of research. This is the future value of contributing to an RA, and you can see that gap in terms of what um, tax and actual cost savings does to your investment. So focus on the blue line, and you can see the benefits that it potentially could give to you over time. Okay, so just to summarize before we move on to tax-free investment plans, we've got this window where in which we can make ad hoc contributions to our retirement annuities in order to take advantage of the fact that we can offset it against or use it as deductions for or deductions against our taxable income. It's important to keep in mind that we've got this window before the before the end of the tax year to utilize this, but I'll 
just elaborate on that a little bit more. Remember, the contributions to an RA are from Feb to March for a particular tax year, and it works the same for a tax-free investment plan. That 30,000 rand that you can contribute is within a tax year. But now we're going to be chatting a bit more about tax-free investment plans. So what are we proposing? So two years ago, as we said earlier, Treasury identified that there's a savings issue within the country, and they created this product, created a tax-free savings account that um, PSG was one of the first to offer uh, as soon as the regulations came out, and it allows investors to save more. It allows people to save more, and it allows you to contribute to household savings. You pay no tax on your investment growth, so no capital gains tax, no tax on any interest earned, and no dividends withholding tax. There's no restrictions on withdrawals, so you can access those funds at any time, and you're also entitled to flexible contributions. Remember, the contributions are made post-tax, so it might seem like a sacrifice, but it's not. So 500. So essentially what that means is you can't claim a deduction like you do with RAs for contributions made to a tax-free investment plan. So the contributions are made post-tax, and an individual can contribute a maximum of 30,000 per year, so that's 2,500 per month, or 500,000 rand over his lifetime limit. Remember, you can only contribute 30,000 rand per year to a tax-free savings account, irrespective of the number of tax-free savings accounts you have. If you contribute in excess, SARS will penalize you. So it's, so it's wise to have one tax-free savings account and ensure that you contribute the maximum to it, just to avoid any issues. So it'll take 20 months for you to, 200 months, sorry, to reach your lifetime limit. So that's about 16 years, plus minus. And um, 16 years might seem like a long period of time, but with the way time seems to be accelerating, um, it's here in a blink of an eye. Um, any amount invested over 30,000 Rand, as you know, it's taxed at 40%. So it's just an important point. Make sure you contribute the maximum and not more than 30,000 Rand per year. Tax free savings account can only be held by natural persons or people, um, including children, and it's not open to trusts or companies. Only South African citizens can use it. And an individual can have numerous tax free savings accounts with different providers. However, it's wise to have one, for example, with PSG, so you can manage your contributions. It's not an issue where you contribute 30 to us and 30 to another provider, and at that other provider, you're going to get um, essentially 40% uh, uh, levied by sales on, as a penalty for exceeding your contributions. So it's wise to keep it in, in one place. Okay. Um, certain unit trusts are included. You have a wide range of unit trusts that are available. However, Treasury specified that you can't have any funds with performance fees. The market reacted, and most, or if not the bulk of the asset managers out there, um, offer now performance free funds, fee, performance fee free funds. Um, for example, within PSG, the PSG Balance Fund and the PSG Equity Fund, which are excellent long term performers. Uh, are with, uh, can be accessed in the tax-free savings account. So it's important to keep in mind. Structured products are not allowed. You can't have direct shares within your tax-free savings account, and you can't convert existing um, products into a tax-free savings account. So you can't convert your voluntary investment plan into a tax-free savings account. However, you can take funds from other discretionary investments and put them into a tax-free investment plan and they'll be seen as contributions to your tax-free investment plan. So here's a quick graph, a quick analysis of what your money will do for you based on the following assumptions. 30,000 Rand contributed a year over a 200 month uh, period, so that's the term, annual growth rate of 12%. The allocation is quite balanced, 65% equity, 35% bonds, but a dividend yield of 3%, interest, uh, of 7% and obviously dividends with holding tax of um, 15%. And the tax on interest, it's tax at the individual margin rate. So we compared a normal direct unit trust investment to a tax-free investment plan. And you can see over the period of the investment, you come out, um, so if you compare 1, um, 1, 495000 to the 2 million, essentially you can see the um, the benefit that this affords you. So that's what you need to be looking at. And remember what I said earlier that um, it's putting money back in your pocket. 
So essentially that growth in a tax-free environment amounts to a 37% savings increase. So, you know, you know when, when, when they say don't look a gift horse, a good gift horse in the, in the face or in the mouth or whatever it is, this is a massive gift horse from Treasury. They're giving us an opportunity to save in a tax-free environment. It would be wise, prudent, and in fact compulsory for all of us to take advantage of this, not just for ourselves, not just our spouses, but for our kids. Um, it's really important. Keep it in mind, and it's a, it's a, for me, a compulsory part of anyone's portfolio. Just in the same way, you have a bank account, I have a tax-free investment plan. Okay, so what can it be used for? Just to reiterate, supplement your retirement savings. So um, if you need to go on a holiday in retirement, instead of dipping into your retirement funds, here you've got a tax-free savings account in the, sitting in the side there where you can use capital every now and then. Take out 30,000 Rand after, after all those years that you've been saving and head down for a nice holiday at the coast every December. I mean, why not? We owe it to ourselves. We work hard. And when we're in retirement, there should be a certain amount of enjoyment. Um, you can say for kids' education, education is also, the cost of education is also growing um, higher than inflation. So it's important just to keep it in mind that um, the cost of education now is not necessarily going to be the same when um, our kids reach university. So giving us a bit of a cushion in terms of saving in a tax-free environment for that eventuality when they reach 18 and 19. Um, I think it's, it's crucial. Look at it as an education fund as well. For emergencies, um, as and when needs, my life personally, I hit a pothole recently, and just to get the rim repaired and the tires, it cost me 6,000 Rand. And um, obviously there's insurance claims, but on all the rest, but I needed to take a picture of the pothole before I could do so. So um, there's all these issues that come up every now and then. As an emerging fund, it's vital. Also increases your general savings. It, it's a positive addition to your balance sheet. Look at it that way. And it's an important asset to have in your armory. Okay, in conclusion, you can register for these products. Um, the link is available here. Um, the webinar, a PDF and recording will be sent to you. Feel free to complete the um, survey. You can expect a call from an investment consultant. And for any queries, you can contact our client services at PSG via the direct desk for more information on these products. An important point, remember when I said earlier that the tax year is coming to an end? Now is the time to take advantage because with per year, per tax year for a tax-free savings account, you're limited to 30,000 Rand and your RA contributions. If you make these contributions now, they will count as a deduction in this tax year. So when you do an assessment, it will be offset against your taxable income for this particular tax year. So please take note of the following PSG retirement annuity and tax investment plan, cutoff dates for processing. The tax year, current tax year ends on the 20th of February. We've got time, but we need to essentially move quick. All application and additional forms as well as online submissions need to be received by Friday the 24th of February before our cutoff times. Instructions must be complete and include proof of deposit. It needs to reflect in our bank account by the 24th of February. So if you do electronic fund transfer, it must be made 40 hour, 48 hours before. Um, direct debit instructions must be received by 22nd February. And um, essentially just take notes of these times, take advantage of the opportunity presented to us at the end of a tax year maximize on your deduction by contributing to your retirement annuity, maximize on your contribution you can make in this tax year to a tax-free investment plan and allow those funds to serve you within these products for a longer period of time. Okay, we're just going to do a few questions now. Um, so happy to have a quick chat about those. Okay, so when we talk about the 27, um, it's 27.5% of the highest of taxable income or remuneration that you're allowed to deduct, and it's capped at 350,000 Rand per tax year. Um, can an RA be closed at any time, any penalties, any minimum investment periods, three years, five years locked in? So with PSG, you in a new generation product, a list product where there's no hidden penalties and no hidden 
uh, lock-ins essentially. There's no, if you, 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 your RA essentially when you say can be closed at any time, you can stop contributing at any time, you can adjust your contributions up and down and it's not going to penalize you as it would with only older generation products. Um, your investment um, can be accessed at retirement. You're eligible to retire at the age of 55. Before retirement, you can access at immigration if your fund value is below 7,000 Rand or due to ill health uh, early retirement. So there's two tax tables. Essentially, the question is, if I take a withdrawal from a retirement fund, remember the important word is withdrawal, then the withdrawal lump sum table applies where the first 25,000 is taxed at 0%. From an RA, it's the only time that you can withdraw is when you immigrate or when the fund value is below 7,000 Rand. At those two points, any lump sum taken will be taxed at 25, tax at the withdrawal lump sum tab tables where the first 25,000 is taxed at 0% provided you haven't received any previous lump sums. So, for example, when you resign from your employer and you take your pension fund, that's a resignation event. The resignation is treated as a withdrawal, which is taxed at the withdrawal lump sum tables. So that's a benefit of a retirement annuity, is that you're not tempted to dip in and essentially destroy capital and erode the potential for long-term savings. It protects us from ourselves and from life's unexpected eventualities because when something happens, what do we do? We'll dip into the place where funds are easiest to access. And that's why it's so important in a holistic portfolio to have uh, multifarious or different sorts of um, products available that PSG offers, for example, that allows you to access funds at different times. get to say thank you hang on thank you very much guys i uh, really appreciate it and for any questions feel free to contact psg on the contact numbers provided it's been great chatting to you enjoy the rest of your day and your week cheers bye